I'm here with Guy Fishman. Uh, he's been a 365 customer with us uh, for a year now. Last year was the first year we implemented the program looking at uh, his in-season soil and tissue samples. Through that, we were able to identify um, some yield limiting factors that we needed to readdress or address money towards um, to really maximize his yield potential. We did a little reallocating of his money um, to address these yield limiting factors. So we moved that in, or that uh, that P and K uh, to in season. We backed off the phosphorus. Um, I know you were a little uncomfortable with that at first, but we saw that he had significantly high levels in his soil um, across all of his acres. And we, we took that money that he was spending on MAP, uh, moved it to some in season potash, AMS, um, anything that was showing up, you know, as low last year. Uh, and you're seeing the results now this year. Right, exactly. Well, you know, traditionally farmers are we're kind of stuck in the rut sometimes. We do the same thing year in, year out. And it's a big paradigm shift for me to, to rethink this whole fertility program and not to put on as much like what I used to, maintenance rate. But through biology, they've kind of showed me how this solub solubilizes these P and K, it'll release what I have in my soil. And so I did cut back this year quite a bit. And I got biocast out here with the pre on the corn. And um, right now is sea amino and respite because of stress mitigation because of our dry drought situation right now. And my corn is, it's t you just drive by my fields. It's all consistently even. Um, color-wise and health-wise, the corn looks relaxed and not to knock my neighbors or nothing, but just observing their corn is stressed and rolling and not as healthy and I have to attribute to biology because that's the change I made and so I, I'm a firm believer in what I'm doing so far. So. When we ended the season last year, we were roughly according to imagery. Uh, about eight inches below our 10-year average in rainfall. We had a very light amount of snow over the winter. Uh, this field was planted the very end of April, very first of May. We've gotten about three inches of rain on it during the growing season, which is roughly half of what it should have. Uh, the problem we're having is most corn fields are stunted. And if you look at this field, it emulates to me a concept that BW Fusion promotes called better biology. And better biology is really a combination of three things. It's in part soil health, it's in part plant health, and it's in part mitigated stress. And this year we're all getting a, a bird's eye view of what it means to mitigate the stress of your crop and the impact it has on this plant's ability to reduce its stress level in the evening when it cools off. Yeah, I want to give you an update how harvest is going after a full year of BW products, probably the full second year that been on their program. And the yields are outstanding this year. My beans are going to roughly run, I would say 75 to 80 field averages. I'm just starting on my corn. I've probably done 100 acres, but my later corn is running consistently 240 to 280 through the field. Field averages are going to be huge, record breaking. I had products of Meltdown and Biocast and Advance, and I think a lot of it was stress mitigation and keeping the plants healthy and as I'm going through the field the top leaves of the corn plants are still green and uh, the plants just kept on producing all year and we had drought stress in June but we mitigated that with respite and sea amino and so anyway very pleasantly <laughs> surprised and um, Happy of how things are going. Okay, thanks, bye. October 26th, and we're standing in front of Guy Fishman's 110-day corn. And better biology is the reason why we're, we're united this morning. And people ask us all the time, what is the definition of better biology? And 
you can probably answer that question 25 different ways. Bodie Kitchell could answer that 30 different ways. To me, it's all about the fact that he is harvesting this corn and it is still biologically alive. When in August we saw 30% of the countryside, and that's probably an understatement, that was dying prematurely from the top down. So this enhanced level of plant health that you get is what I think the official definition, my definition is when people ask me of what better biology is. It's a seed that you put in the ground that actually is killed either by the frost or by your combine, nothing else. So here we are again, August, uh, October 26th. Guy planted this field the very end of April. And we're gonna take this old fashioned tree trimmer and we're going to cut into these stalks and we're actually going to see water still inside the stalks of these plants. So the, the reason why these look so good and, the, and in a drought environment we have full ears is because biology was improved here and we call that an enhanced level of plant health. And what's incredible about this farm is, you know, we put on zero phosphorus this year, only 165 units of N roughly. Um, potassium, I think we only put on about 75 to 100 pounds of K total for this year. And, you know, between the biology and the stress mitigation, look at the quality of the plant health. I mean, the stock diameter, you have gorgeous green leaves, the shanks on these, I mean, these are massive ears that are still being held up vertically due to the, the quality of the shank and the tops of the plants. I mean, this is 13 foot tall corn. None of the tops are broken off out of it. The consistency of the stand, the ear height, um, and it's every ear all the way down the line. Just incredible. Um, um, it, it really shows how you can optimize nutrient availability for that plant through biology and you combine that with stress mitigation technology um, and you really dial in your fertility. This is the, the whole picture here. This is what BWG is all about and, and this is what we strive for and we couldn't ask for a, a better uh, outcome. This is green as the grass over there in the ditch. <laughs> you know the other thing I'll add to what Cody said. You know, you bring a bunch of farmers this morning and you show them this and they're going to say, guys, what did you put 300 pounds of N on this? No. That's how you're keeping it green. You put 300 pounds of N. I mean, this is 157 pounds of N. And we don't do near a good enough job talking about the five diazotropic microbes that are in one of the microbe team products you used on this field, which has got to be contributing to the overall um, nitrogen response in this field. So those diazotropes are producing N from air. Plus you add the team of phosphorus solubilizers. I mean, his phosphorus levels in his tissues were competing with guys that put on, you know, 40 bucks an acre worth of, uh, of MAP or DAP last fall. Uh, or they ran a, a heavy starter rate in furrow and guided neither of those things. Um, he has uh, his P levels in his soil range from 15 to 30. Uh, across most good. of these acres. Over Cut here. one more piece off. Yeah, I got that muddy. Look at the water coming out of this. You know, he, he, here again, October 26. And look at the color. Your stalks are supposed to be lime green, textbook. They're lime green. And when you look at what we just chopped off, look at how healthy the inside of that stalk is. Perfectly white. And when you press your finger into it, can you actually see the juice coming around my finger? Mm -hmm. That's water and sugar. So here it is again. It's being harvested, but this plant is still alive. And to our company, BW Fusion, this is the more practical definition of better biology.